so uh, we've got the first bush made and I'm just about to part it off now. <laughs> Only problem now is the, the hole's in the wrong place. Oh, it's a real support on that one. Don't think that's going to line up now. What's happened there? No idea. Anyway, that's the first bush I've made and we'll have to tidy, tidy up a bit, obviously. And, um, put the hole in the right place. Oh, well. <coughs> see you back here in a while. Yeah, I've got the first bush ready to see if I can get it pushed down with the vice here. Shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Some pedals on my road. The board hole in a different place. Let's go around the other side. A bit more leverage. Yeah, the shaft's slightly larger at one end of the other, so I'm going to have to take a wee bit off it. That's just going rock solid there. Yeah, it's going rock solid. Right, I've moved it. OMG, that's not going in. <sighs> what now? <sighs> Quite a lot of force on there. There's always something. <laughs> See how we get on. Turns out I made the bush too long because it's actually right through at that side, so I'll just have to cut it off and clean it. But just a bit of trial and error. Hopefully the grease nipples in the right place. Well, can easily find that out. Pump some grease through it. Uh, I'll just cut it off and then grind it flat. That's the first. Uh, brake pedal bush made and I've got it installed now so I'll just make the one for the clutch side I had a wee bit of, made it a wee bit too long and put the hole in the wrong place for the reason I pull but I've sort of that's the shaft now fitting into the clutch side it's got a bit of play but it's got to rotate on it anyway and we can pack it with grease so I had to do a bit of filing to get it to go in you can see there how the shape the pedal is with the new bush in. Anyway, that's me for today. Putting the feet up now. There, we'll move it up. Right, we also need the, the lens in here.
right. Should be good. Other end is there. Close. It's too bad for center as well, is it? I'll check it. Looks good. Six point five. Well, measures different at different ends anyway. Six point three. And so, we'll swap that over to John. Trying to keep the quill as short as possible so it uh, it's not going to need depth. Six six three.
thing I'm just going to try and make an even slot rather than trying to make a half moon slot. What do we need now? We need the rubber. Do that cutter. I've got four sides so I can have four goes it cocking it up. Too far up.
Well, it's certainly a bit on the last one, but I don't think it's wide enough yet. Which I'll let us tidy up the sides. Yeah, we just tidy up the sides. Should be good. Looks in the right place. I think we're there, chaps and ladies, if you're watching. Yep. That one done. The big problem is I'm not exactly sure where the other one goes. I'm going to leave that alone now and just put it up with. It's quite tight in there. I had to batter the things out to get them out in the first place, but there's not much slack, so I think we're good. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not bad for a pillar draw, is it? <laughs> right, let's do the right. My big problem is the other way to the line go. I attacked it with an elbow grinder at some point. We've got a big slot. So there's my problem. I've got to work out. I just cut out an algo grinder, but I've got to work out where the heck it goes. I'm assuming it goes there. Oh, it's got a longer slot. Well, it's twelve forty and twelve twenty, so I'm not a million miles away. Go for it there. Um, I say this was going to be the centre, didn't I? Where's your foot the end? Seventy five mil. Bang on, centre. Right.
I could never make a living doing this, I'm too slow. This is just a hobby. But if you could charge people for the time I do this, they would be extortionate prices. 6.17 is.
Right. Just slightly to one side, but that might work in our favour. Slightly down. Right, that should be good. And all that out without any major cock ups again. Keep the hoover on so I can see what I'm doing.
and try and knock out the edge of the side there off. There you go, if you don't have a expensive milling machine, buy a 4.30 cutter off of eBay and use your pillar drill, that's in both cut, whether that's in the right place is the big question, must be somewhere near. So, I need to turn this down too much, so if I have I'll just make a bigger bush to go in there. Push the new one out and there we be a weld in there. I could probably make it tidier, but let's see, it's going to be a problem. You think it's just taking the pedals, it's not like it's rotating or anything. I don't know if I need to make them, but I just do a wee bit on this other one. It's just sitting in better. Anyway, if we have to, we can just uh, take them out. That's a bit of a cock up, that one. <clears throat> I'll probably just weld that up. Um, that one's not as good as the, that one. Oh, give it all right. So, like I say, this is. I think this is just a bit undersized now, so I can compensate by making another bush. I'm going to get a bit of metal big enough to make one yeah, for the clutch pedal. I think I might have something. Okay, that's this uh, episode of cocking up things again. And there's the finished article. Yeah, I just have to make a there's not a bush on it actually when I think about it, there's a, there's a squashy pedal on there, there's a clutch end it, it might be okay, I never much, keep having to look at my old videos to see which way around the shaft goes, anyway that's all for now folks. <laughs>